Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for this tutorial, so let's just go ahead and get started. We're just priming our face with the NYX Shine Control Primer, and then we're going to jump into filling our eyebrows with this bright pink color. It's actually face paint from Hobby Lobby, and I'll have the products listed in the bottom bar for y'all. Going in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, we're just going to place this all over the lid and pat it in with our finger. Next, we're going to be creating dimension with a dark purple eyeshadow. We're literally going to be using purple's pink blush from e.l.f. and some blues. So there's no rhyme or reason here. Just get it on your eyes and make sure that you blend it as well as you can. It's okay if it's messy. Next, we're going to be using some blue eyeshadow. I actually got this in a little Wet n Wild palette a long time ago. It was super cheap and it just matched perfectly. I'm also going to take that jumbo eye pencil and milk on the bottom to make my eye wider. And then I'm just going to take the hot pink blush and smoke it out on the bottom as well. Once again, don't worry about being messy. It's okay, this whole look is a little bit messy. Since we did open up the waterline, we want to make a fake waterline with the blue eyeshadow. So that's what I'm doing there. And I also made some feline um, eyeliner as well, but it was really difficult and the filming was just hideous. So I didn't include that clip. And we're just gonna go in and fill our whole face in with white paint. This was totally not necessary because you'll see me take a majority of this off later in the video. Now we're just gonna start doing some shading and there's really no way to explain this except for I started out trying to do like a widow's peak, uh, but I'm just gonna let you guys watch. I use that pink shade the blue shade and I just keep mixing it in and you can tell that the face paint that I used was totally unnecessary because it's like peeling off but it actually made the shading look like fur in my opinion so it worked out good enough. I decided to pat on some white eyeshadow here so I didn't totally lose the white contrast above my eyebrows. Sorry, my dog's squeaking his toy. And we're just gonna go in and contour the nose. I have a super wide nose, so this was a little bit difficult, but I did use the blue and pink shades on this as well. Next, we're going to be creating our cute little nose. I literally just drew a heart and then filled it in with pink and then outlined that with black. And eventually I put glitter on it as well because you can never have enough glitter. On to the hardest part of this tutorial. I put this whole mouth on and then ended up erasing it because it was ridiculous and I have a bigger lip structure than most. So basically you want the top line of the mouth to be like right above your lips. And then you just wanna make sure you connect it across the chin. And then I started drawing the pointy teeth, which were difficult as well. But after a couple of tries, I ended up figuring out how I wanted it to be. And I looked at a lot of pictures for reference They'll all be listed in the bottom bar for you guys to look at if you decide to do a look like this. So I'm just gonna let you chill out and watch because I don't think me talking through this is gonna help any. It literally just, it's gonna take practice.
I went ahead and used white face paint, a newer face paint to fill in the actual teeth and I think they came out way better. I definitely recommend not using the same face paint that you bought last year from Halloween because that's why it was peeling off at the beginning of this video. We're just gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of the face with that white face paint. continue shading in your face. This is that same pink elf blush. I'm just using it to just kind of try and create dimension and make it look like my smile is actually happening. We're going to use the blue and the dark purple color as well that we used on our eyes. And we are going to go in and make these little lines. I really feel like they just kind of made the look. I used light purple, bright pink, blue, I think some white. I just put them on the widow's peak area and then on the sides of the face, on the chin area. And it just makes it look more like fur to me. started adding some finishing touches like dots, whiskers, and reapplying some of the face paint that had kind of went away through the process. And I shaded in the mouth a little bit more as well. So I took this white liner and filled in my waterline and then started drawing lines on my neck and chest that I eventually filled in with alternating pink and purple colors to just get that Cheshire Cat look and I topped everything off with glitter. So this completes the look, you guys. I appreciate you coming to my channel to watch. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.